Fish farming is on the rise and Kenya is making its mark. With over 150,000 metric tons of fish produced annually, Kenya's aquaculture industry is crucial to its economy and food security. However, the pressure on natural water sources is growing. Pollution from heavy metals and contaminants is taking a toll on the lakes, endangering fish populations and threatening sustainability. The question is, how can we feed a growing population while safeguarding the environment? You can produce a lot of fish uh, with only putting oxygen in the water and clean the water. You can increase the fish production per uh, cubic meter actually 40 times per year. In 2009, the government's economic stimulus program, ESP, assisted to set up fish ponds, enabling many farmers to raise tilapia and catfish. These simple setups have helped farmers, but they are limited by water waste, inconsistent yields and environmental impact. Fish farmers are having a huge problem surrounding uh, fish production. So that is when we said, OK, can we come up with um, a least accurate system that is going to address the issues of the farmer production that is going to be effective on climate and also address the water challenges. To address these challenges, innovation supported by research is key. The Kingdom of the Netherlands through Wageningen University Research have partnered with other institutions, including Partners for Water, Aqua Farming Consult, Laikipia University, and Food Systems and Poverty Alleviation in Africa, that is FOSPA Africa, for a feasibility project to introduce affordable recirculation aquaculture system, commonly known as ERAS, a game-changing technology designed to revolutionize fish farming in Kenya. We started off this uh, partnership uh, way back in 2015. So we started by um, uh, connecting farmers in Nyeri to fish vendors in uh, Kibera. And then from there now uh, we wanted to help farmers produce fish sustainably. And that's how we came to uh, the ARAS project. Affordable recirculation aquaculture systems. It is using very little space, very little water. It is accessible to the small scale farmers because it's really based on materials that are found locally and it is affordable. The affordable recirculation aquaculture system feasibility project was piloted in Nyeri given the uptake of fish farming in the county. There are over 3,000 fish farmers in Nyeri County, which is predominantly a non-traditional fish rearing area. Uh, we see this as a big changer comparing with the feedback that you are getting. This is going to have a, a huge impact, especially in also in the zones like in the Mount Kenya region, which is generally not a, a fish producing zone, but they are taking aquaculture as an alternative to tea and coffee. This is going to be adopted uh, all over in the, in the rest of the country, where aquaculture is still lagging behind and people are still coming up with traditional methods of, of, of fish farming. But what's different between the traditional fish ponds and the ARAS technology? Fish pond is 300 uh, square meters or cubic meters because they're one meter deep. Per year on average, they get something like 207 uh, kilos. Uh, if you have an compared to the ARAS, it's, uh, uh, you can get a unit uh, of the 75 square meters. So it's not covering a lot of, uh, of area. And then you can, per cubic meter you can actually, of water, you can actually increase the fish production 40 times. If you have oxygen in the water and you clean the water, the growth of the fish is exponential and you can have three seasons instead of one season and also the fish grows to a bigger size. To validate this, the project worked with five demonstration farms from the county. As the feasibility project winds up, a dissemination workshop was held in Nyeri to share findings from the engagement. This is uh, an important event because a lot of the projects that have been supporting the ARAS is coming to an end. So we're entering a new period and we have a lot of interested parties wanting to cooperate with us in future. So we have a, an opportunity to communicate where we are and uh, also to setting the stage for the next period, uh, supporting a development where thousands of small scale farmers can have the ARAS. Meet Peter, a farmer who got into fish farming five years ago but has hence transitioned to the ARA system. I was using the pond system. I had done a stocking density of a thousand fingerlings. I only received uh, harvested only 10 kilograms. That was a bit disappointing. Again, the period taken to grow that fish was even longer. A year ago, I came across Phosphor Africa and actually they have sponsored uh, this through the Dutch government, Partners for Water, and we are doing the RAS system here I get 1,800 kilograms. It's, it's amazing. Grace Gakungu, 
A farmer from Madera Sub County recounts her journey in fish farming. I started with the three ponds. It was more costly because you had to make sure the, the security is there for your ponds. We had a challenge with the fingerlings because we never got the certified fingerling. I have engaged with myself with the last system and the space I'm, I'm using for the last comparing with the ponds that I had. I used to do that covering nets for the three ponds, but now I'm just using the greenhouse for the whole four tanks for the fish. So for me, the production, I'm at the, the cost of the fish ponds were more high compared with the last. These experiences have shaped farmers like Peter and Grace towards adoption of the ERA system. But more importantly, the solutions are farmer driven. We start with the farmer going towards the scientists. So the scientist comes in to validate. We don't want to come with ready-made solutions to the farmers. We want to identify problems from the farmer. Then we, we work with the farmer trying to get the solutions. Modeling a business out of it is one, I think, that is the most uh, important thing to ensure success of the uptake of this project. The affordable recirculation aquaculture system isn't without its challenges. High setup cost and technical complexity can make it difficult for some farmers. However, the rewards far outweigh the obstacles. In addition, the system allows farmers to use locally available materials, which then contribute to lowering their capital expenditure. This one tank I can have is 300 kilograms. Once you're looking at the four tanks here, it's equivalent to four pounds. This will take almost half an acre. And this I'm taking a dimension of 12 meters, 15 meters by 8 meters. We're thinking affordability, accessibility and sustainability. So it's based on uh, green energy sources, uh, solar energy. We use very little water because it's recirculated and cleaned. We reduce the water production per kilo of produced fish compared to the fish ponds with almost 90%. So if I'm able to cut costs, I'll increase my productivity. So I'm creating more of a circular economy. I'm able to get food on the table. I'm able to make an income. I'm able to make manure, which is going to grow agricultural products. It's a well-packaged ideology. In the face of climate change, the affordable recirculation aquaculture system offers a pathway to secure water resources, mitigate the effects of climate change, and ensure food security. By promoting water conservation, climate action, and sustainable farming, ERA supports several sustainable development goals. Through innovation and collaboration, we can build a brighter, more sustainable future for Kenya's aquaculture industry. A future where farmers are empowered, the environment is protected, and the communities are thriving.